On today's episode, how your YouTube earnings are calculated, the difference between CPM and RPM, and finding out what percentage of your views are actually monetized. This episode is brought to you by Game On Snacks, jerky that's changing the game. Enter the promo code FREEDOM at checkout for 10% off all orders. What is up everyone? My name is SD Mike and today we're going to be talking about money. But not just any type of money, the money you make on YouTube. If you're like me, you like to track your earnings. Even if you only make a quarter per month, it's still really cool to know that you're making money doing something that you love. Now when it comes to making money on YouTube, there's two terms that you've probably often heard before. CPM and RPM. Now your earnings are generated by ads that are placed on your videos. Now these two terms describes how much it costs a company to run ads versus how much you actually make from these ads. Now what makes this confusing is people often use these two terms interchangeably. RPM is often referred to as eCPM so you can see where things often get confusing. Now let's start with CPM or cost per mill. Now that last word is Latin and means thousand, meaning CPM is the cost to advertisers for each time one of their ads is played 1,000 times. RPM or eCPM, which YouTube refers to it, means the average revenue earned for every thousand views of your videos. Now with eCPM, there's a common misconception that people often overlook. People tend to think they're being shorted money due to what their eCPM states. Now just because you're getting a $10 eCPM doesn't mean that you're gonna get $10 for every thousand views. What this means is you get $10 for every thousand monetized views. There is a difference. If you're an avid YouTuber that watches YouTube videos, you'll probably notice that not every single video has an ad on it. Whether you're watching on Chromecast or on a tablet or mobile device, Xbox, or even have ad block on, chances are you're not going to have an ad play every single time. Now, if you want to check and see how many monetized views you're actually getting, it is possible. In order to do so, visit your analytics and then hit hit estimated earnings. Once there, switch compare metric to estimated monetized playbacks. And then you can see how many playbacks you're receiving and how much you're making for each one. So if you're wondering why your CPM and your earnings don't actually match up, this is where you need to look to to find out how many views are actually applying towards your paycheck. One last thing to note, if you're new to YouTube, you might not be familiar with the dreaded CPM drop that happens at the beginning of every year. The first three months have a significantly lower CPM than the rest of the year does. If you're tracking your earnings for January, February, or even March, you'll notice that you're making less per view than usual. Why is that, you may ask? This is because advertisers simply don't do as much advertising at the beginning of the year. The holidays have just gone by and people don't want to spend their hard-earned money until Valentine's Day comes around. So to summarize, advertising goes up when people spend and when they don't, it goes down. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. This is actually how all advertising-based sites work. But anyways, guys, that's it for me today. Hopefully you've understood everything I talked about. If you didn't, leave a question down below and I will do my best to answer it. If you want to find more of me, the link is in the description below. Until next time, my name is Mike and... Uh... This is where my script stops. This week we're talking about equipment that I wish I had lying around my house. Because it's very important. Today we're talking about audio. Whether you're a gamer, a vlogger, or a filmmaker, audio either makes or breaks your video. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays kids more worried.